Hey, what's going on everybody? Craig over here at Merchant Service Slayers. Had a quick subject that I want to talk with you guys about uh, in choosing the right partner that you board your deals with while you're out there. Uh, before we get started with that though, I do want to go ahead and encourage you guys, if you're on YouTube right now, please do like, share, subscribe, hit that bell also. That way you can get notified when we have new videos pop up. Uh, we normally do it twice a week. Sometimes we do it more, sometimes we do it less, kind of depending on our day and, and where we can kind of cram this stuff in. Uh, all this is free. We're not charging for any of this content. This is just stuff to strictly help you become better out there. Uh, also, if you are watching this on YouTube and you're not a part of our Facebook group, jump over there, look for Merchant Service Layers underneath the exact same title. Uh, join the group. We have thousands of people in there uh, that are constantly sharing information, throwing some jokes out there, stuff like that. It's a really good culture, really good environment, right? Um, today, what we're going to be talking about, uh, like I stated, is finding the right company or choosing the right company, okay? And there's a couple of different things that I want to talk about when it comes down to kind of making sure that you're running into the right backend processor for you to board your accounts with, okay? So a couple of things that we're going to cover is first off, uh, more than just a split, all right? You have to look at a lot more than just uh, what you're gonna be getting paid. Uh, two, what work is this office going to do for me, right? Uh, and that can mean a lot of different things, which we'll cover that one by one. And then also three, very important for at least me, company culture, okay guys? So uh, first off, more than just a split, what do I mean by that? Well, first off, I talk with people all the time. We own a company called Go Free Payments, and they're always like, well, I can find a better split somewhere else, or I can get this, or I can get 95%, or I can get 100%. Uh, you guys have to look at a lot more than just that. Uh, one of the biggest things that I look for in a company when I try and board somewhere uh, is I look for, okay, what's, uh, what type of buy rates do I have with this organization? Because it's a lot more than just talking about 90% or 70% or 100%, right? You can have 100% of nothing, and guess what you still have? You have nothing, right? Although I could have 90% with buy rates at like two and two or one and a half and one and a half, uh, plus no other filler BS on top of that, right? Or maybe I'm all in on monthly fees at eight bucks a month, who knows? Uh, and then I have a good deal right there, right? It really depends on, you know, the comp plan itself and understanding how you get paid, what you get paid, what the buy rates are and all that stuff, right? Uh, also very important is what type of work are these individuals going to do for me, all right? It doesn't matter if you're gonna make 100% and you have the best buy rates ever, right? Uh, if you have to do everything, if you have to do the underwriting, if you have to do customer service, if you have to do tech support, you have to do your own installs, you have to do your own marketing, you have to do all this other stuff, makes absolutely no sense. You're gonna have less time to get more deals. I've seen a lot of people fall into this trap where I want 100% or 95% or 90% and they go out there and they sell two deals a month and it's, it's ridiculous, right? You can't expect to become financially successful if you don't have a lot of deals coming in. And normally all people focus on is that percentage number and that's ludicrous. You have to focus on uh, if there's a company giving me 70% or 50%, what are they doing for me? Are they doing the installs, right? Are they gonna service my accounts? Uh, are they going to go ahead and help make sure that my customers are gonna stay with me? Are they gonna go ahead and do any retention on my behalf, right? Are they gonna provide me with appointments? Are they gonna teach me things, right? Those are a lot of things that you really should be thinking about when you're looking for a office to partner up with. And it's gonna be different for everybody, right? Some people, you know, maybe they wanna just go out there, sign four or five accounts a month, and that's fine. Go for the higher split, do all the work yourself, right? Uh, some people just wanna go out there, bank 15, 20, 30 accounts a month, and you're willing to sacrifice 10 to 15% to be able to do that because you know that with that free time you're getting from not having to do the installs, from not having to uh, do your own customer service, from all this other stuff, uh, that you are able to go out there, close more deals and make more money than the person that has that 95% split, quote unquote. Um, last but not least, and this is super important for me, is company culture. Um, I cannot work in an environment with people that are uh, it just some, some people that I just don't mesh with, right? Uh, if I'm in an environment and my manager or you know my relationship uh, director, whoever it is, right, and I don't get along, or I don't like the culture of this company, then I can't work there. It doesn't, I'm not gonna be excited to work there. I'm not gonna be excited to board account somewhere. This is especially important for people that are working inside an office environment, uh, but also for you guys out there in the field. You don't wanna get into a company culture that doesn't fit with what your goals and your ambitions are with your customers, right? So if you get into a system, for example, to where, you know, it's a very, our system over at Go Free Pay, we're very strict, we like to have our people go out there and bang in a ton of deals, but we also have a lot of fun, right? We talk a lot of smack. 
Uh, it's it's the epitome of like a uh, a boiler room type atmosphere, you know. And that's just that's something I like. I personally like that. I've grown up uh, in the merchant service industry in environments like that. But if I have somebody that comes on board and they're maybe not used to that sort of environment, it doesn't matter how good they are. It's going to be a horrible fit, right? It doesn't matter if they have the best split in the world if they don't like the way that you know uh, we handle ourselves inside of the organization then it's just never going to work. And flip flop that scenario. Me, someone that's as energetic as myself, I could not work at a company like Heartland, for example. I just could not get along in that sort of environment. I need something a little bit different. I need something a little bit more pizzazz, bam. Um, and that's just not something that I'd find there from what I've heard in the past from other people. It's a very uh, uh, different system than what I'm used to, right? So you need to make sure that whatever type of company you're looking at boarding with, first off, it is more than just a percentage split. You have to realize that. Time and what they're gonna put into it is worth a lot, okay? So you have to figure out what work they're gonna put in there. Normally, typical questions that I would ask is, are you gonna do the installs? Do I have to be present? Uh, if so, you know, how often do these installs, you know, how long do they take? Will you input menu items, stuff like that? Those are questions that I would ask. Uh, company culture, you'll figure it out from the people that you talk to on the phone. Normally, my suggestion, talk to a couple of different people inside of the organization before you start boarding there. That way you get a really good feel uh, for the company culture and who you're going to be working with. That's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys have an excellent day out there in the field and that you guys crush it. Let's get out there. Let's make it happen. Remember, while you're out there in the field, ABC, always be closing. Go get it, guys.